What's good guys? Welcome to the channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys eight OBS tricks that you're probably not using today. Starting off with number one on the list is Discord overlays. Have you ever been on someone's stream and you see the bubbles of someone in a Discord call lighting up right on their stream? Well, you can do this yourself using the Discord stream kit. On their website, you can select install for OBS and this will pop up the Discord application where you're going to need to authorize the stream kit to be paired with your Discord. Once you're logged into StreamKit, you're gonna see three different widget tabs that you can pair with OBS. The one we care about is the voice widget. And within here, this is where you can select the server and the voice channel that you're using in Discord. There's some additional settings below that that you can play with. The most notable one would be show speaking users only, which if you have that selected, you'll only see the names appear on stream whenever someone is speaking within the voice channel. Once you have those settings in place if you look to the right side you're gonna see the browser source link that you need to copy into your OBS as well as the dimensions once you do that and you're in an active voice channel party this is what it should look like overlaid on top of your stream you know what other overlays are really cool to have within your OBS custom made overlays by own pro own pro offers hundreds of unique overlays and alerts in your favorite language to fit any streamer's style with the own pro plugin installed in your obs studio overlays can be added at the single click of a button on top of that you can get copyright free music and sounds via the epidemic sound library a chat bot and much more you can check out the links to my sponsor own pro in the description below the second OBS trick to show you is how to record sources individually. To do this, you're gonna need to go to the OBS project website and download the source record plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, make sure you restart OBS so the changes can take effect. And from here, you just need to choose one of your sources and then go to the filters option. Select the plus button under the effects filters and choose the source record option and make sure you set the record mode to recording. You'll also want to set what the file name is going to be. Instead of just the timestamp, put the name of the source in front of the timestamp, such as gameplay or face cam. Recording format is going to be MP4. You'll need to also set an encoder. So whether or not that's your CPU or your dedicated graphics card, I recommend using both by having one of these do your normal OBS recordings and then the other one do the source recordings. But it truly depends on how good the specs of your computer are for what settings you're gonna choose here. You can apply what I just showed you here to each source that you plan on recording separately. You're still gonna have your normal OBS recording, but now you're gonna have these separate ones as well. Number three is capturing highlight clips. This is something super easy to set up and it's insane how many people don't know that this exists. What you're gonna wanna do is go into your OBS settings, go to output, and then make sure that you're in the advanced output mode. From there, you can select the replay buffer tab and enable the replay buffer. The time that you'll set will be the maximum replay time. So you can set that to 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever your heart's desires truly. Just make sure you allocate enough RAM to support the amount of video OBS will record as part of the replay buffer. With that set, you're gonna see an additional option under your controls for starting the replay buffer. Once the replay buffer is started, you're gonna see an icon to the right of that and that will save your highlight clip and yes this can be active while you're streaming jumping in the number four here and that's the best settings for streaming and recording Probably the most important thing that people need to understand when it comes to the quality of their recordings and their streams is the bit rate. On screen right now are the recommended bit rate ranges for the resolution and FPS that you're going to record on. A lot of people are recording their gameplay in 1080p 60 FPS. So if you're gonna do that using OBS, make sure that you have your bit rate set to at least 10,000 or higher. Now, how about the bit rates for streaming? If you're streaming anywhere around the quality of 1080p, then you're gonna wanna have your bit rate somewhere in the range of 4,500 kilobits per second. 720p, you can knock that down. But these are the bit rate ranges that you're gonna wanna stay in to keep your stream quality at a good level. Coming in hot at number five on this list is the additional OBS features that are now available 
available on the Elgato Stream Deck. If you own a Stream Deck, make sure you're updated to version 5.3 and you'll have so many OBS features available to you at the click of a button on your Stream Deck now. My favorite ones to use thus far are probably the replay buffer and taking screenshots. It's so convenient to just press a single button to do all this stuff now. Thank you, Elgato. Number six on this list is multi-streaming. So many third-party applications that allow you to stream make you pay if you want to multi-stream. No need to pay to multi-stream. The plugin you guys are gonna wanna download is the Multiple RTMP Outputs plugin. With that installed, you'll have a separate window pop up in your OBS. You can add a new target, name it whatever you like. I'm going with Twitch, and then just put in your RTMP URL as well as the stream key. You can find these URLs and stream keys within your streaming dashboard. I know Twitch even has a web page for all the different URLs URLs you should be using depending on your region. I've left links in the description below for all this information. But once you have that information set, there's nothing else that you need to change below that. Just select OK. And after you've started a normal stream, make sure you select the start button for each of the targets you plan on multi-streaming to. And as you can see, this works just as designed. Number seven on this list is the chat highlighter feature. The app you're gonna wanna download is called Twidget off of the Windows Store. So this one is only gonna work for people with a Windows PC. Once you log in, you'll have the ability to add the link of your stream to this application and it'll pull up all of the chat dialogue of the stream. Now, you're gonna wanna make sure that you apply the Twidget URL as a browser source into OBS. I recommend following the settings that I have here up on screen. And then once your chat start flowing through, you can select any of those messages and those will pop up on stream in a highlighted message format. You can also adjust the way that this highlighted message will appear by going into the settings within Twidget and you'll have several different styles to select from for how you want your chat messages to appear. If you're not too big of a fan having all these separate windows to have your chat pulled up, how about you put it right into OBS? Coming in at number eight here is the chat OBS integration. Simply all you need to do here is go to your docs and then select the custom browser docs option, put in whichever name for the doc you wanna put in, it can be just YouTube chat simply, and then you're gonna to wanna to add in the URL of your pop-out chat window. Select apply and then you'll see the window within OBS. Now you'll probably need to log in to your YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, account first, but then after you do that, the messages will start flowing through and you can throw this doc anywhere you want in your OBS. You can throw it right next to your gameplay so that way you can see both windows at the same time. And what's cool about this is that with your gameplay and your chat right next to each other, you won't have to always have your stream dashboard up in front of you at all times. You can have other windows up and still not miss anything from your chat. But there you guys have it. Those are my top eight OBS tips and tricks that you guys probably didn't know about. All the links to everything that I mentioned in this video are in the description below. Make sure you hit the video with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.